Large crowd marches to honor a Tampa teenager killed by an undercover deputy driving on North Florida Avenue. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith there with Josiah Pinner's best friend speaking for the first time after witnessing that deadly accident. Dozens of family members and friends of Josiah Pinner gathered out here demanding justice in this investigation. Starting tonight's march at the very spot where the 15 year old lost his life last Friday. More than 300 people chant for nearly an hour at the corner of North Florida Avenue and East 124th, where Josiah Penner was killed Friday, crossing the street. It's not fair because that was my best friend. He died right next to me. For the first time, Damian Foster speaking out about that deadly walk home. We were crossing all the way over there, and he landed right there. He flew. Like, that's not an accident. And we're not going to stop until we get answers, until we get justice. Justice for Josiah! The crowd marching more than two miles, many protesting the ongoing investigation. For so much to me that I had to do this. Like, I had to come here and show that I actually care for him. I had to come here and show him that I actually care for him as a friend. Some question the deputy's speed and if his headlights were turned on. The sheriff's office promises transparency. Neither the investigative process nor the investigative results will change simply because a deputy sheriff was involved in this crash. The march ending outside a sheriff's office substation where they vow to keep Josiah's memory alive. He's feeling well loved and supported and he knows that God is going to do justice. Tonight we've learned that undercover deputy is not working. He chose to step away from the job and take some time off as this investigation continues. In Hillsborough County, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.